The Greater Burlington Partnership and its Chamber of Commerce is really designed to be a catalyst for economic and community development. And when you think about Chambers of Commerce, uh, you can call them lots of things. They uh, could call it an organization or a venue, but really at the end of the day, it's a, it's a place. And it's a place where business owners, community leaders, elected officials, and all sorts of folks come together and rally around a cause. And that cause is the economic climate in our community. We want to give you some insight into why this organization is so critical in the future of our community. You'll hear from some of our current members on why they belong to the Chamber and what they get out of this experience. As a potential member of the Chamber of Commerce, whether it's as an individual or as an organization, I really would encourage folks to join because of the networking opportunities and the ability to just get out there and meet new folks. And from the small community uh, bank to my individual company that employed four people to one of the largest banks in the country, there's, there's a benefit to every one of those organizations. Perhaps what surprised me the most about the Chamber of Commerce is the social policy aspect, particularly coming from a nonprofit. We depend heavily on government funds, social policy that directly impacts the individuals that we serve. So I really appreciated the opportunity to speak with legislators. They offer an eggs and issues where you get face to face and get to talk about the issues that are impacting us. To me, I feel sometimes that people think it's such a big organization that they they won't be seen or heard or listened to and, then, and it's not. Most people that are members are small business members so it's just one of them. It's just one of them that wants to help create a better community and make a better way of life. One huge thing for the Chamber of Commerce is like word of mouth referrals. So there are Chamber members and organizations that are going to go to other Chamber members and organizations for products and services before looking elsewhere. We've learned also from, as a mom of three, that there's a lot of events and opportunities in our community going on. Uh, we always enjoy living windows, the parade of lights, and just kind of touching base with the Chamber of Commerce, what can we do also with our family that might be fun and get us out there? My advice to a small business is look at it, uh, talk to members of the Chamber that you might have similar interest in or similar size business uh, arrangements and see what their, their um, return on investment is. And I can tell you from my experience it's that the return on investment is substantial. Whether you're an established company or you're just starting out, there are so many ways for you to invest in your business. And I would say one of the most critical investments you could make would be a membership in the Chamber of Commerce, really because we're about growing the economic pie. More customers to your door, more opportunities to have revenue uh, come through your place of business. That's what we do here. Take a few minutes today to join the Chamber of Commerce. When you do so, you will join the more than 600 businesses and organizations that have all said, we want to make this community better. And your business will get some benefit too. You'll have more customers available and a larger economic pie to draw from. Join the Chamber of Commerce today.